What is one of the easiest structures to find, maybe the easiest structure to find in pretty much any man-made lake? And yet, some of the best structure you can fish. Good morning, guys and girls. April 15. We used to call that tax day. Now, that's the day you're supposed to have your income taxes in. A lot of that's been changed with the pandemic. A lot of it's been changed with filing extensions and all that. So I really haven't heard it called tax day in, in a while. Uh, we're looking at April 15, Colossians 3, 2. Reading from Catch a Better Life book. This is our new devotional book. We just spent about two years writing it. Actually went on sale, I think, April 5 or April 6. If you haven't got a copy yet, check it out on jimmyhouston.com. Colossians 3, 2 says, Set your mind on things above and not on things here on this earth. Set your mind on things above. Here's what I wrote about that. I define a structure as any object that is different from or breaks up the water's bottom or the water's surface. That's what I define as structure. This can be rocks, it can be brush or docks, it can be humps, roadbeds, creek channels, even an old sunken boat or a bridge that they've torn down and let fall into the water. Obviously, some structures can be better than others. Our thoughts are exactly like those structures. Some are better than others. And can I tell you, your thoughts, your thoughts, my thoughts, control the type of people we become. Our thoughts control the type of people we become. Today's scripture reminds us that we can set our minds on what is really important in our lives. We set our minds on the important things. By focusing our thoughts on things above, we get rid of evil desires, we get rid of covetousness, and we can get rid of filth. We are less prone to be anger. We are less prone to wrath, to malice, and even bad language. It'll clear up your bad language too. You set your thoughts on things above and you won't talk quite as dirty. <laughs> the list is long of the things that will improve in your life by simply setting your mind on things above, like it says here in Colossians. So what do we set our minds on? If we're not going to set our minds on the things of this earth, what are we going to set our minds on? What should be our inner disposition? Or what should our inner man be thinking about and setting your mind on? How about kindness? Humility? How about meekness? What about tender mercy? When somebody messes up in your life, how about showing them a little mercy? Forgiveness? Patience. Patience. Oh, Lordy. Set your mind on patience. That's a big one. And love, which is probably the most important of all. Thinking on and practicing these heavenly traits will make us better husbands, better wives, better fathers, better mothers, better friends, better people. You'll be a better person that is having a better life. Thinking on and practicing on these heavenly traits, the heavenly traits of kindness, humility, meekness, tender mercy, forgiveness, patience, and love. Set your mind on these things when you start out your day today, when you start out your day tomorrow, you're going to be a better person. You're going to have a better life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love it. I love it. Here's our tip for today. Rip wraps. That's right. Rip wraps was the answer. I know most of y'all got that. Rip wraps are some of the best and easiest structures to locate. Rip wraps are very easy to find on just about any, just about any man-made lake. You got rip wraps around the dam. Early in the year, that's very definitely where you want to go. Go down around the dam, fish through some of the pockets there around the dam, points and coves and stuff back in there. But rip wraps will produce any time of the year. Any time of the year, rip wraps will produce, and they produce really well. Now, the key to catching fish on rip wraps is you got to be there when the fish is there. They move up on rip wraps for one reason to feed. They move up there to feed. If you're there throwing your lures in there, you're going to catch them. I love to get right up against a riprap, throw a spinner bait up in front of me and bring it down right at the edge of the, where the water hits the riprap's or where the riprap ends. Both of those two places are really good. Crankbaits, same thing. Get out there and throw your crankbaits where you come down bumping the rocks. Catch them a lot of time right where the rocks end. Catch them a lot of times the first two or three cranks. They're up there eating, feeding on shad. Shad will be in there feeding on the moss and grass and plankton that grows on those rocks. And they're in there feeding on crawfish. Crawfish live around rocks. So 
it's absolutely a perfect place to fish and it's easy to find just about any lake. If you go and, and, and here's my rule of thumb, I've got rules of thumb, you know about everything. Here's my rule of thumb on riprap. So when I get by a riprap, I'm going to stop and fish it. I may fish 50 feet or 50 yards or 100 yards or 500 yards, but I'm going to fish a little of it. I usually will stop and fish a point or a little protrusion that comes out because that's usually the best place of any riprap. And you might, some of them where several of them come out as you go down through a riprap, some of them are just straight with one little indention on it. And uh, so it'll really help. You can use a Garmin live scope as you go down that riprap and look out in front of you and see where those rock ends, uh, rocks in. That kind of tells you how deep, th how deep a crankbait you want to throw. that will get down right where those rocks end. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, what you focus your mind on is going to what you become today, tomorrow, the rest of your life. Remember, guys and girls, I sure do love you.